Hello everyone, welcome to DRX podcast. Today we have a very special guest with us. She is Kamdi. She is uh, doing work uh, in antimicrobial stewardship. She is Dr. Jyoti Jyoti. So, hello ma'am. Welcome. Hello everyone. DRX Blogs podcast. So ma'am, we want your brief introduction. So, please introduce yourself. I am Dr. Jyoti Jyoti. I have completed my family graduation in 2021. Where? i have done into the lot of internship during my internship like uh, clinical sas and microsoft office and to be in accurate uh, i also done many online courses during my internship and later also okay uh, i'm so uh, currently what are you into and what are you doing currently i'm working as duty doctor which we are not allowed properly but in our state we have some The hospitals we can who they give as duty doctor course. So, what is the role of duty doctor in your hospital, and what you do? Yeah, as a role, we firstly directly didn't get into duty doctor. Firstly, we have done some internship to gain their confidence that family also has been doing good in the clinicals. So, firstly, I have done some six months clinicals for free to gain the experience and all. Then I have allotted as a duty doctor post to look after into the casualty. Even though we are in casualty, still the MBBS doctor will be there. So we should assist them, and we should do that. During that, we should do the ward and participation and uh, interactions checking, etc. So how was that? Uh, how was your uh, six months internship? We faced a lot of during that because so none of them you... are interested to take. Uh, Pharmacy as a duty doctor and into the clinic clinics, just because we don't know anything or we don't have special recognition in hospitals. Everything same. Pharmacy was same as day pharma, <laughs> which was two years course. So we were not allowed firstly, but during the COVID, COVID has big plus to us because we have worked in the COVID duties during the six months internship to get into the hospitals. So from COVID, they have believed in us, and then they have given us the duties. But it was very tough. We also yeah. faced the same issue. Same issue. <laughs> the farm, farm D. Yeah, we try to convince that uh, we are doing farm D, but they say you are D farm, you are D farm, you are D farm. So My overall farm D was very uh, tough. Just because none was in the hospitals, we have get into the clinics from the second year. From second year in the hospitals, the families don't have any respect. Just during the one hour, two hours, we should interact with the patient during the, not during the peak time, either during the evenings time or etc. Hospital internship was very bad during my internship days. I Mom, think uh, your hospital was good. Uh, yeah, it's slightly good uh, than <laughs> other hospitals. We can say that. <laughs> Because we, we are, are we have to say that, and because we are currently working in the hospitals so, until we get our degree, uh, <laughs> we have to say. <laughs> so, no, I want to know about uh, antimicrobial stewardship, and my viewers are also interested to know what is antimicrobial stewardship is all about. Yeah, antimicrobial stewardship is all about the resistance during the antimicrobial uses in the hospitals and clinics. We see. the patients who are going to the antibiotics just use for two or three days they doesn't complete the full course about that so here that we get the antimicrobial resistance and the same drug doesn't apply to them during the second course that's why we should probably change the drugs every 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 visits that is why during that we should check to the interact with the patients and give the proper counseling to them why we should use all this and why Antimicrobial is not only antibiotics, antiviral, antifungals, and antibiotics. All three to comes, and we should always counsel the patients why they should use and up to what time they should use. We should also interact with the doctors and say the same. Of course, no doctor listens to us, but we should take say them. It's our responsibility. Yes, yes, and it was the free course where we can get from the Stanford University. It was the e-learning, so we can go to the online learning. And complete our course. It yeah, was quite your... easy when we have time. Yeah, I see your LinkedIn profile. Uh, in this, uh, you mentioned your uh, antimicrobial stewardship course certificate. Yes. It helps a lot. Uh, to yes, to be accurate with my 
profession i have done lot of the courses which were equal to the doctor like uh, emergency medicine go content course yeah. acute medicine can equip medicine and the first and to be accurate the all the family should learn what was cpr and aed mm. to so yeah. according to my personal choice everyone should learn cpr during the emergency conditions not only in the hospitals but also outside Mm, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. So, ma'am, my next question is: uh, Can you tell me about the future of PharmD in pharmaceutical industries, hospital and IT companies, and in colleges? Yes, in pharmaceutical industries, we have get as directly associate or drug associate in the companies like Pfizer, and so many companies are there nearby. We will get as drug as directly associate and uh, medical advice associate, etc. and during the in colleges we will be getting as associate professor or assistant professor when we qualified uh, upsc exams like that ugc net ha uh, ugc net we can do phd csc csir yeah csir we can also get into the professorship for them that examinations the qualification of professorship was different for them in um, it plus we currently the medical coding and medical scribing was on high where we can get a lot of financial support from that and apart from that vigilance and clinical sas was also too good where we can go to the abroad and also can do that so ma'am i want to know the uh, work of uh, pharmd in pharmaceutical companies what is yeah. our work in pharmaceutical company we are working with yeah, quality assurance yeah we we can work as quality assurance or drug safety associate also we can work as the what the drug we have given and we also can um, write the medical writing about the drug like medical coding about the drug and we can keep to them can we do a clinical trial or most of the companies do clinical trial or a newer drug delivery system so we can work in that field also because yes yes we can work in as clinical trial coordinator or clinical or research it, coordinator yeah yeah first we should go to like clinical trial associate or clinical yes, research yeah. coordinator later we can get clinical research associate like that we can improve now that many oncological studies has been happening the many oncology hospitals are taking us as clinical research associate where we get the initial salary as low but there may be a much scope during for that later So my my next question is uh, what can we study after pharmd most of the subscribers ask can we do md after pharmd so, uh, so as you done a fellowship md was a whole lot different thing you should again study from the start and you should waste a nearly about 11 to 12 years for the md after pharmd it was a long thing years 6 years after that 10 to 11 years was very much difficult but we can do ms which was not there in india but we can go to the foreign and do ms Where we have give scope there, like MS Health Informatics and drug research, pharmacology, statistics. Hmm. Where the all, the, yeah. Where during the world has the lost MPH. Yeah. Ah, MPH. Epidemiology. Um, Pragya is also a very great statistician. She know yeah. how to use SPSS. She know how to do medical uh, data coding, and she has very very much good uh, uh, interpretation with the. Uh, what i say or uh, data yeah data like it field yeah then you can easily go to the clinical sas it has good scope over there okay okay and here also we have good scope and we also have the financial stability with clinical sas it will be very easy during the starting stage maybe tough but uh, when we get know into that it will be very easy statistics are everything like after the clinical research what we the data we can type and everything Yes. So we have one who knows the path. Yes, that was enough. <laughs> so, ma'am, my next question is. Uh, <laughs> so, ma'am, my next question is: Does the? I made a lot of money with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can work as a pharmaceutical. You can work in pharmaceutical company. You can work in many other fields. So, my next question is: Does the proper recognition of the PharmD in India and why it was so bad? so no one knows who yes. is pharmd who is pharmd and why we have to tell we are pharmd yes. we are pharmd something yes no one everything the pharmd was related to defarm according to the public is just because the pca doesn't give the much importance to us the 
PCA doesn't give the NMC doesn't want us to be as a medical uh, field and clinical fields. NMC doesn't allow us to. Even the PCA president doesn't involve us the matter to say to NMC that we are too eligible, we are too learning, we are too in, into the clinical from the second year. I think, ma'am, uh, in farm in PCI we have a, a member who done farm D, so he can <laughs> express the feeling or emotion of farm D. Yes, none have the knowledge about farm D regarding them, and according to that, we don't have any recognition. Firstly, it's just because the PCI doesn't say anything about farm D. First, it was just because of the money. The colleges will get money for farm D. The six years long course. Yeah. That is the main reason PCA introduced our course. I think so. Yeah, that's and, only and, and the fees is also high of farm D. D yes, farm, yes. M farm, MSc fees are uh, pretty much low than farm D. Low. In yes. my college, the fees, uh, the last year fees was one like seventy five thousand of farm D. Yeah, in our college, we are in our college two point five lakhs to three lakhs hmm. for farm D for one year. So just imagine the fees. It's just of the because D, of the, the fees. The fees of family was here than the uh, ma'am. My next question is Do you think we should get prescription rights <laughs> and why? <laughs> I I think we should get the prescription rights for the minor elements, like the small things. Family prescription rights. Which we yes. make it, yeah, yeah, minor elements. Because we, in all the cases, we can't compare with the MDs. We can't diagnose every single thing correctly. So we can get the prescription lights for the minor elements. I strongly suggest that to give the prescription light as please. Yeah. Then only we can get the recognition. I think even in... other countries have started giving huh. prescription rights, even for the B farm or uh, B farm also. I think so. B farm or M farm. Not only pharmacy, but the, all the pharmacy graduates can have will have the prescription rights in other countries. I think ma'am in parliament we also need a foundry to speak. <laughs> but none allows. <laughs> Who are you to speak here? It was all about the people. Family was not in the other people. Uh, um, so ma'am, my uh, next question is uh, so what advice you will give the family student? For the newly joined grads, I will say leave the family and go to MBBS. It was possible. Right, the need again. If they want to settle in the abroad, they can easily do the farmer day. But settling here was very difficult, and with tolerating all the people in the public with this degree was very difficult. But we have a great scope in uh, clinical research, as you say, medical yes. coding is a very good uh, area of uh, explore. Medical writing is also a very good uh, scope. Uh, yes, yes. In, uh, as, as research say, and development yeah. was and, also and, very as, good. As you thing. say in as you say in industry, we have a very good scope. Industry, we can uh, conduct clinical trials and new new drug delivery system, pharmacovigilance. Um, we can. Yes. So these are the scope which I think and I will suggest to the all PharmD to go. And if you are interested to do work in hospital, uh, work on pharmacology, work on therapeutics. So. Yes. You can stand over here and say that, yeah, I'm right. And this is the area, this is the interaction. Because we have very good scope as clinical pharmacologists. Yeah. Okay? When we have the good good amount of knowledge in pharmacology and pharmacotherapeutics. That is where all the pharmacy graduates should be thorough with pharmacology and pharmacotherapeutics. You should know about everything about the drug interactions. Because uh, then you can every easily doctor, get into the hospital. Hmm, because every doctor know only the brand name. Yes. He don't know the generic name of the drug. If the brand name is not available, he will not give the drug. I was working in male medicine ward and I faced a lot of the like problem like uh, we had, don't have uh, metal spas or we don't have this, we don't have a uh, Montelukas. So we can give the alternative. So for that alternative, we want we have to know the generic name of the drug. Salt Many salt. other uh, salt, salt form of the drug. So doctor doesn't know all these things. Or oh, there are lots yeah, of prescription error, medication error are there. So dosing error, dosing error in pediatrics or uh, in uh, oncology, uh, we have a we have to calculate the dose. Uh, and there are lots of scope. But uh, what I say is what we say is PCI is not uh, giving attention to us. So what we can do? Yes. So my my We're last not able to tell the doctors. My last last question is: If you become PCI president, then what changes? you would like to do for farm 
That was a big question. <laughs> Actually, as the PCM, I should have the good recognition. I will give the recognition to the farmer, like the formless or the during the LinkedIn or the Instagram. What was the degree about, and what was it about, and how the clinicals it will be, etc. And I also assign the same. I also fight with the NMC that the lectures for the MBBS and PharmD should be same for the pharmacology. Mm. That is what I suggest. Because for the better education, the pharmacy should have the same lectures as MBBS. Then only for the at least for the pharmacology. Yes, then ma'am. only he will be or she will be good enough in the pharmacology. We don't have much better lectures during our college days. We have a lot of Latin during in our pharmacology and pharmacotherapeutics. Absolutely. But in the future, I will agree i will also fight with the nmc to give some right support for the farmer dd uh, we support, we support you. Yes, i forgot about the fellowships to be done after the farmer day. after the farm day, we can do about the fellowship in clinical care pharmacotherapy oncopharmacotherapy and clinical pharmacy nephro nephrology okay. yeah, there are three fellowships where we can get from medica jss academy etc it will be around two years course where the fees may be little high, but after the fellowships, we can practice on our own or we can get into the ICU or the critical care, etc. departments. But the colleges are very low in the fellowship and the, and the seats are also very low. And to be get into the seats, we should have about 65 to 70 percent pass percentage for up to 50 years. Oh, we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> and you can go. So, but during the fellowships, we can gain the lot of hands-on knowledge. So with all the code we can, we can do our own. So can you elaborate? After the fellowship, we yes, can yes. Our own. Uh, we can open our a clinic or. Uh, that is what they are saying for the fellowship. I have personally talked to them. They said that after fellowship, you can work in the clinics or you can do your own practice. Okay. Nice. Fellowships. Nice, nice, nice. So, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, you recently opened your open a Instagram account. Please tell to the audience so you, they will join. They will uh, boom. <laughs> yeah. Hello, guys. I have recently opened the Instagram page called as Doctor Farmari Seven. Kindly join for the more education purposes and. Memes also for your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> memes are important. Memes are important. Memes, yes, memes yes. to circulate all over the world. Yes, yes. Oh. Thanks a lot, ma'am, for joining. And okay. Uh, we love nice talking to you guys. A lot of knowledge from you. And like fellowship, I don't know. And uh, CRC, clinical research in, uh, and all. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Nice talking with you guys. Thank I you. hope all our audience will be here yeah, doing ma'am. some fellowships right now. Okay, okay. Oh, absolutely, ma'am. Bye.